Hey there! Today, we're diving into the fascinating life of St. Margaret of Scotland. Born in Hungary in 1045, Margaret's family had to flee to Scotland due to political unrest. Margaret's intelligence, beauty, and charm soon caught the attention of King Malcolm III of Scotland, who quickly fell in love with her. The couple got married, and Margaret became the Queen Consort of Scotland. But Margaret wasn't just a pretty face, she was also deeply devoted to her faith. As queen, Margaret worked tirelessly to bring about positive change in Scotland. She was known for her compassion towards the poor and her dedication to education. Margaret established schools, monasteries, and libraries, ensuring that knowledge and literacy flourished under her rule. Despite her noble position, Margaret lived a humble and religious life. She embraced a strict prayer routine, fasting regularly, and always found time for acts of charity. Margaret's piety and devotion inspired those around her and helped to strengthen the Christian faith in Scotland. One of Margaret's most profound legacies was her influence on the church. She played a significant role in bringing together the Catholic and Celtic churches, promoting unity and collaboration among the Christian communities in Scotland. Margaret also had a major impact on the culture and arts of Scotland. She encouraged the development of literature and commissioned the writing of The Life of St. Margaret, a biography that documented her life and virtues. Sadly, Margaret's life was cut short when she passed away in 1093. However, her legacy lived on, and in 1250, she was canonized by Pope Innocent IV. Today, St. Margaret of Scotland is celebrated as a symbol of piety, compassion, and intellectual growth. Her life serves as a reminder that one person's devotion can create lasting change and inspire generations to come.